Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have an unbagging. This unbagging comes to us from Diamond Art Home, not to be confused with Diamond Art Club. Now, this is a company that is based in Florida. And from what I was told, they're manufacturing their kits from Florida. So you're not going to get a tracking number from China, supposedly. Now, I ordered this April 23rd and I figured that I would get it within like a couple of weeks of uh, ordering it because of the fact that it's manuf they're made in the U.S. in Florida and I thought that, you know, even though COVID was going on that it wouldn't be affected, but apparently it was and the person uh, was backed up on orders and such. So I ordered this April 23rd it shipped May 24th, and I got it uh, May 30th. And I'll have all that information pop on the screen so you can see the dates. So it still took it quite a bit to get here, but again, we can't fault them for the, the time frame that it takes because of everything going on in the world. So I will not dock them cool points for that. But I will say that I thought because it was manufactured here in the USA that they wouldn't have the backup or anything. But I guess with the mass amount of people ordering and being introduced to the craft that they, they did. Either way, enough of that rambling. This is how my item came. It is in a bubble mailer. I did try to contact this company with no avail, meaning I tried contacting them to ask them a question. Because on my order, I know I ordered two kits. Um, I ordered two kits and for some reason... I was charged an extra $2.95 for a product extras. Now, I didn't order any product extras. And right underneath it, it says, and I'll have a thing pop up over there uh, showing you what I'm looking at currently. It says, extra space, perfect for framing. And I'm like, I didn't order that. And I wouldn't pay an extra $2.95 for it either. So, I don't know what that was about. And so, uh, I used the coupon code GET10 to get 10% off. I'm not sure if the code is available. I'm not sure if the website's still available because even when I go to click on uh, visit our store, the website pops up. So there, the website's still up. I don't know what I pressed before, but it, it came up and it was like, no, not available. So let's see. Is it pore glue? Is it is it double-sided adhesive? Let's, let's see what this company is about. So it looks like it is uh, double-sided adhesive. And I'll tell you the price of the kits as soon as I get them out of here. All right, so that's all that's in there. I did order two kits. We're going to open this one first. So it's in plastic. I think they could have done a better job packaging it if they would have put it in a box instead of trying to save money by putting it in a bubble mailer. They're sh they shoved it in this and crossed their fingers that the post office wouldn't bunch it up. But as you guys already know... Uh, yeah, as you guys already know, the, the Postal Service right now, they're so backed up, they, they're not really the most careful. There's also a rubber band on it, which I do not like because that squishes your diamond painting and leaves marks sometimes. If you're going to, I'm going to actually get you guys to hold on for two seconds. I'm going to go grab some parchment paper. All right, don't fuss. That was just a blank. All right, so we're going to take the rubber band off of here. Get that out of here. So let's see. At the top here, it says flower 40 by 40. So apparently this is a 40 by 40. Oh, they get cool points. The, the drills are in baggies. I don't like the fact that it says DAC on it. But, um, and this is a square. I don't remember ordering a square, but this is a square. And it says DAC... 603 on the bag not sure what the DAC is because their letterings are DAH and not DAC but on the side of the schematic over here it also says DAC so uh, I'm not sure why it says that and I don't think I ordered this in a square there's your toolkit so you get a pumpkin spice toolkit uh, the pumpkin spice toolkit comes with a drill pin, wax, boat, cheap tweezers. Y'all don't care about that. All right, so let's take a look at the drills. I'm seeing a couple of knobbly bits, but I'm seeing a lot of other really good drills around it. So drill quality. 
And again, when you look at the drill quality in these drills, you want to find your darkest color and see it, how those drills look. But before we start messing with the drills, I don't know, we're going to do the drills first. Um, it does, it, they don't have, like they tell you the quantity. Okay, so the bag tells you, it says DAC. I'm not sure what DAC stands for, but it says DAC 3782. Uh, that the drill number is 3782. Uh, the quantity is 305 in that bag. I don't, I'm not sure what the SP4 means. Um, but let's take a look because the, the legend, there's no inventory sheet because a lot of times when companies weigh their diamonds, they don't give you an inventory sheet. Um, and it, I see the SP1 on here, SP2, SP14. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the number on the kit or not because I saw a couple of SP4. So like there's SP4 on both those bags, but those are obviously two different colors. Um, so give me a second while I try to get these into some kind of an order. All right, so there is 50 colors. Holy shnikes. There are 50 colors in this kit, which means that they use the most amount of colors that they can possibly think of. So for right now, we are going to place the drills off to the side. Okay, where's that bag they came in? Hold on, let me ride the struggle bus and get them back in their plastic. All right. So we're done running the struggle bus getting that back in there. Uh, I do wish that they would put a sticker on the plastic to let me know which kit this goes to. Because there's no indicator on the drills or the canvas that let me know that these two go together. Um, so if they were to, to have put, uh, like as you can see here, it says PL, oh, sorry, PL00733. If they would have put that on the drill bag somewhere or on this plastic, I could store these separately and know exactly which one it goes to which. But because they didn't, I'm probably just going to write it on this first one here. I'm just going to take the bag out of the front and write PL00733. That way I know for when I store this away because I store mine away from the drills. My canvas gets hung in the closet and then the drills go into a plastic Tupperware container for when I'm ready to work on it. So now that we got the drills out of the way, it looks like all the drills are there, present and accounted for. Let's look at the canvas. Now this is a square. So let's pull this back. So far I'm liking the symbols I'm seeing, they're nice and big. This is, well it looks like they tried to cut it into sections, but it's not coming apart into sections. There we go. Let's start from this side. Oh, and I ripped it. And my tweezers. All right. And it's just going to keep ripping, so. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna pull this back. To reveal what it is. For some reason, it looks like you guys are sitting up lower today. And we're just gonna get rid of that clear cover, or that opaque paper anyways, because I don't use opaque paper. All right, so it is poured or it is double sided adhesive, so you have to be careful. It actually looks like mounted film, like it looks like the mounted film, 
Um, what I'm going to do now is recover it because I don't like that opaque paper. Oh, I got my drill thing here. Let's look down at the symbols to make sure the clarity is there. Um, so let's see. They use a bunch of weird symbols, but you know the, the, the stuff is actually really clear. It doesn't look like double-sided adhesive. If it's double-sided adhesive, it's double-sided adhesive that I have never seen before. It looks like the mounted glue. I'm not 100% sure what adhesive they use, but it looks like mounted glue. Um, let's see, can I pull it up? Yeah, I can't pull that up, but it does look like mounted glue. The canvas clarity is there. Like, it doesn't look too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a foam roller and my parchment paper, and I am going to roll the parchment paper onto this uh, foam roller. Then I'm gonna lay it at the edge here. And then I'm just gonna roll and flatten as I go. That sound you're hearing is the foam roller. Oh, and there's something right there I left on there. So we're gonna pull this back. This is one way to keep your canvases protected for when you store them away, especially now uh, in the United States, it's summertime and the heat does affect these canvases. So to make sure that I don't get any bubbles or rivers, I'm gonna cover it with this parchment paper. And that's after I pull up this piece of opaque paper on it. There we go. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. So it's durable. I, I would honestly have to think that this is mounted film. Now, I've only ever worked with mounted film once with Treasure Studios Arts, but this reminds me of the mounted film that they use. So if I had to guess, this isn't regular double-sided adhesive. This has to be mounted film. So with that, I would say that you can roll it, but I wouldn't chance it because I'm not 100% sure what they use for their product. Uh, and I'm going to cover this side. Boom, just like that. And that's how you recover your diamond paintings with parchment paper, especially if you get the big ones. I get the big parchment paper, meaning like this sheet is the size of a 30 by 40. So this canvas is 40 by 40. And I'm going to guess it does measure true to size since I had to use two sheets of parchment paper. But we're going to take and grab our measuring tool to check that out. So if you give me two seconds to grab my measuring tape. All right. And I got my measuring tape, but I am going to need some parchment paper for the other canvas as well. So I don't have to get up again. I'm going to just cut it off here. Since this is just excess, just make a line, boom, it's cut nice. So let's measure it. Let's not stab ourselves with scissors either. So let's measure it to see if it measures true to size. So, so far, so good. It looks, like I said, it looks like mounted film. It doesn't look like double-sided adhesive like I originally thought because of the opaque paper. Um, we're going to measure this to see if it measures the size. So we're measuring from glue, from the drill area to drill area, not glue to glue because I'm not drilling on the glue I'm drilling on the drill area spot on for 40 this way spot on for 40 this way so you're getting your money's worth you're getting it and it is uh true to size this canvas cost me $30 and 95 cents um again I'm not sure what size or uh, I'm not sure why it says that it is, uh, I'm not sure what size of type, type of adhesive, sorry. I'm not sure what type of adhesive that they use, but I, if I had to guess, it looks like, it looks like the mounted film. It doesn't look like double-sided adhesive. Um, so yeah, so, so far so good. Again, I paid $30 and 95 cents for this. I don't think they upcharge for squares. This one is a square and it's just a bucket of tulips. So we're going to put this one away. And we're gonna pull out this last canvas. So let's see what we got on this one. Again, it's in the plastic. And I understand the, pa the plastic keeps it safe, but I would rather actually have it in a box so that it's not getting smashed and shipping, especially if it has far to ship. 
Uh, I would guess that this company ships internationally as well, and I would hope that they put it in a box and not just a big bubble mailer. So let's open this up. And that extra plastic does protect it from like weather and stuff. Uh, I don't like the rubber band because again, it causes little indents in your canvas. But let's unroll this to see what this is. Now this is a 30 by 30. This is another square, which I didn't realize I got so many squares. I thought I chose round. Um, let me see here. All right, so I was looking around on the site. It doesn't look like it differentiates between square and round. So I don't think you get a choice. I think they give you what they think is best. Um, again, this is a 30 by 30. This is another square. And I just wanted to find something that's gonna be super cute and fun to work on. So as you can see, it's the poop emoji. So the little poopy guy is a 30 by 30. And he has quite a few colors because there's shading on the poop. Apparently, we have to shade the poop. Um, we're going to check his drills and stuff in a few minutes. But let's re let's recover him real quick. First, let's look at the drill field. Another nice, clear drill field. Again, I think this is mounted glue. I do see the line for if it was double-sided adhesive. But I think it might be mounted glue. It's not reacting like... It's not reacting like any type of double-sided adhesive that I've worked with before. So um, again, I'm going to roll the parchment paper on this foam roller. I always keep one foam roller close to me so that I can do this. If you don't have a foam roller, you can use like a rolling pin or something like that. Um, but I'm just gonna put it on the edge here. Go up here. And my finger is stuck to it and it unrolled a little bit. All right, let's try that again. We're gonna roll it back on there. Cause I wanna get it on there as straight as possible. So I'm gonna go from the drill area. I'm smooth it down. I'm gonna smooth as I go. And the good thing about parchment paper too is you can still see what the image is. So you can still see that cute little emoji. It does have the excess glue on the bottom, which I don't like. Like there's a lot of excess glue. And if I can find my X-Acto knife, I would show you how to take care of that. So let me look for my X-Acto knife for a second here. I don't know what I was thinking because here is this. So to get rid of say like the excess glue. So you see how there's all this excess glue at the bottom. You don't want that. So what we're gonna do is lightly go across that excess glue with our knife here. And we're gonna see if we can pull it up off the canvas so that you're not constantly sticking your hand in it. And then I'm gonna pick at this corner of it here. Yeah, if I had to guess, this, this is reacting more like the mounted glue than it is double-sided adhesive. Up, oh, we were able to get a little corner of it up. And you have to be careful because like, as you can see right there, I went too hard and I cut the canvas. Not a big deal, it's the edge of the canvas anyways. But when you do that, you should be able to pull up the glue to take the excess off. But again, this is acting like mounted glue. This isn't acting like double-sided adhesive. It's it's on there. So, okay, we're just gonna leave that on there then. Um, hold on a second. All right, sorry about that. I wanted to recover it. Um, so yeah, even after taking that paper, the uh, parchment paper off and continuously going over it with the parchment paper, it didn't get any bubbles or anything in it. Um, so if I had to guess, this reminds me a lot of mounted adhesive. It doesn't remind me of double-sided tape. Um, but again, I did try to contact the company to ask them why I was charged the extra $2.95. 
I did go on the website and I see that it gives you extra space for framing. So the extra space on the sides and the bottom and top, I guess, is what it's talking about. But I don't think that they should be charging for that. But there is a checkbox that you have to check to get it. I don't remember checking that checkbox, but apparently I must have. I don't know. But this is a 30 by 30, it says. So let's check it to make sure it's measuring to size. So it's right on the money for 30 that way, right on the money for 30 that way. So it does measure true to size. Uh, we're going to check to make sure it has all of its drills because you always want to do inventory when you get a kit in just in case you're missing something. You want to let them know right away instead of waiting six months and then going, hey, I'm missing stuff. So you got your, your pumpkin spice tool kit. You got a pin with no multi-placer, a pair of cheap tweezers, wax, and then a boat with a cutout funnel. Um, Y'all don't care about that. So let's check the drills, shall we? And this should be really quick. All right. So all of the drills are there. I had to put those back in there. It looks like they had a bag of B5200 that had opened or something, and they went and put it in a different bag. But this bag has a hole in it, so essentially all it's doing, like there's literally a hole. I don't know if you can see this. There's a hole right there in the back of the bag, so all the drills are just seeping out the back of the bag. I was wondering why drills were just randomly coming out. It's because there's a hole in that bag. No big deal. All you have to do is just gather them up and put them back in the bag. And then what I'm actually going to do is get a piece of washi tape. to put over the hole. Boom, problem solved. I'm not sure why they would put it in a bag with a hole in it unless they didn't realize that the bag had a hole in it. All right, so those are the two canvases that I got from Diamond Art Home. So what do I think? One, I'm not sure what the adhesive is that they use for their diamond paintings. If I had to guess, I would say mounted glue. I could be wrong, but it reacts like mounted glue. It doesn't react like any double-sided adhesive I've had before. Um, so it's good. It looks like good quality. The drills look really good. So like if we take a couple of colors here, we're going to spread them out so we can look at them. The drill quality does look... Let's get up in the business. Good. There are a few... like imperfections and knobbly bits and stuff like that on the drills but it looks like you get a good array of drills i do like that it tells you uh because this this one here this okay i do like that it tells you the number and the quantity but it's still confusing to me because then on this canvas it says dmc code but on the other canvas if you remember it says DAC code. So I don't know if they have different dye lots. I'm not sure if that's acrylic and this is the regular DMC. Uh, I, I don't know. The, the consistency is a little off there. But like I said, I tried contacting them, but I couldn't get a response from them to ask them any questions. Um, I'm still trying to pick up this portion of tape if I can. All right, I finally got it. So you can just take that off like that and it's just stop it from being sticky on the edges. So again, that still reacts more like mounted glue than double-sided adhesive. So whatever the, the whatever adhesive they use is pretty strong because it took me a good bit to get that off there. I do like the fact that they tell you the DMC code on the bag and then the quantity on the bag so you know exactly how many you got in each bag. I don't like the fact that they don't have the canvas number on the bag somewhere so that, like I said, if you stored it separately, you know which kit goes to what. Uh, this kit has 15 colors, uh, which is hilarious for a 30 by 30 that looks like it could have like two colors or three colors. It has 15 colors, so I'm going to say the, the the drill field and everything is going to look really, really good. Um, but you won't know until you start working on it. I don't know when I'm going to get to these, but I'll try to make it at some point soon. Because, again, this is another place in the U.S. that manufactures in the U.S., they said. Um, it also, I see it says licensed to, but it doesn't have a name or anything like that. So I don't know if they're working on getting, like, 
licensed artists. I don't know if all their work artwork is licensed to them. Um, that's something that you would just have to be careful about on their website. Because again, I don't know. Uh, from what I saw, I think there was one image or something that was that I seen that wasn't theirs. They do do custom diamond paintings. I'm not sure if the customs come from China or if they're manufactured here in the U.S. as well. But when I got my tracking number, it did come from Florida. It didn't come from the U.S. Um, so I got it, it shipped on the 24th and then I got it on the 30th. Yeah, I got it on the 30th. So, um, yeah, shipping time was, was really quick, but the wait time to get it was a little much. Like I waited a whole month. Um, but that's not a big deal because it's not like I don't have others I can do. But so far, so good. They get a thumbs up from Miss Coffee. Quality of the, the the canvas is clear. It came undamaged. It came in bags. So that it's our, you can work it up out of the bag if you're one of those types of people that like to work it up out of the bag like I do. Um, again, I do wish they would have had the canvas number on the bag or at least on the plastic for storing it away so you know which one it goes to. It has a schematic on the side. It's only on one side, but this is only a 30 by 30, but those symbols look crisp and clear. Again, let's take a look at those symbols. They do use symbols I'm not used to seeing on other canvases. Um, so yeah, like the pie symbol and the half triangle thing there, and you got like the box with the triangle upside down and little dots. Um, but the symbol clarity is there. The drill quality looks really good. I would have to say, yeah, if you guys want to go check them out, go check them out. Diamond Art Home, not to be confused with Diamond Art House. Uh, they, From what I was told, they manufacture right in Florida. So uh, it shouldn't take too long to get to you. But with the with everything going on with the Postal Service and everything else right now, it might. But if you guys want to go over and take a look and give them a try, I say have at it. They, it looks like pretty good quality. So that's it for me, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this canvas or the other canvas, uh, please leave those down in the comment section below. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy unboxings and random things just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.